Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Hilman here. For those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. I'm Hilman, final year medical student in the Netherlands, studying in mastery currently. This has been a video which a lot of people have been requesting. It's October now, so it's application season. So a lot of people are trying to apply for med schools, figure out which option is best for them, what actually fits well with them. So I've received a lot of questions to compare Maastricht program, so the medical program in Maastricht and the medical program in Groningen, because those are the two English programs in the Netherlands where you can actually study medicine, at least the first part of it in English. So I've received a lot of requests to talk about these things and compare these two. So that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. Hopefully with this video, I can help you as a prospective medical student, someone who's hoping to get into one of these programs, make a better decision or have a better idea of what the different programs look like. And hopefully that can help you make a more educated um, decision on what best fits you and what you're actually going to apply for. First, before we start, a little disclaimer. I have studied in Maastricht University. I'm a final year medical student in Maastricht University. So just a little disclaimer, I might be biased. So everything I say here, take with a grain of salt and if possible, do your own research. The knowledge I'm going to be sharing in this video is coming from my experience in Maastricht University and talking to a lot of people in Groningen University, interviewing a lot of people who study in Groningen currently study and who have studied in Groningen, asking them questions, trying to compare the two programs and see what actually the differences are and the similarities. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing from my experience and from the experience of a lot of friends and people I've also spoken to and interviewed as a result of the request I also got to make this video. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. First, I'm going to start by mentioning the similarities between the two programs. So what are, what are the similarities between studying medicine in Maastricht University, studying medicine in Groningen University? And secondly, I would like to tackle the, the differences. And we're tackling the differences, I would like to tackle them with regards to location, the differences in location, the differences in entrance exams, as far as I can tackle that, of course, the differences in the content of the programs, the differences in the satisfaction rates I've seen from students in Maastricht University as students who study in Groningen, and ultimately summarize my findings or my analysis and give you my opinion on which I think is best. Uh, so if you want to find out which I personally would recommend, then definitely watch the video to the end to find out more about that. Or just scroll through the end if you want as well. That's also possible. First up, the similarities. Of course, if you're watching this video, it's because you already know those two universities, Maastricht University and Groningen University, are the only two universities in the Netherlands that offer the English program of medicine. So that means you can, as an international student, study medicine in English for the first few years in this university and then eventually switch to Dutch. So both universities offer a bachelor's in English and a master's in Dutch. So that means in both universities, you can start your medical training in English, but ultimately you have to do the last three years of your medical training in Dutch. So that's a similarity with both programs. So there's not a difference in terms of one university, you can do the whole thing in English and the other one, you can do it half in English, half in Dutch. No, both universities offer a program wherein you can do the first three years in English and the last three years in Dutch. The second similarities, both universities get you the same degree. Both get you an MD, so a medical degree, MSc in medicine, with which you can work in the Netherlands as a medical doctor. You can work in any other EU country. It might be recognized in other countries as well, but what I know for sure is that with your medical degree here, you can, for example, work in the UK, in Ireland, in Germany, in Austria, in France, any EU country your diploma is automatically recognized. I have a colleague now at the neurology department who is from Czech Republic. She did not have to do that much to get her diploma recognized here. Just finished there, worked there for a while, and then came here, learned the language, of course, because that's mostly the barrier, learned the language and started working here. Have friends who have finished their programs here and also in Groningen and who are moving now to the UK to study. I also, for a bit, was looking into moving to Ireland with my diploma, and that's all possible. There's not too much bureaucracy around that. If you have your diploma, it's valid in all EU countries and also in the UK. You can just go get it rectified there, get it recognized, and then you can start working. So that's one similarity with both universities. They give you a medical degree, MSc in medicine, which you can use to work in Netherlands and other EU countries as well. The third similarity and something which is also particular to these two universities, at least for as far as I know, is that they both have problem-based learning, which is something I particularly love. And that means that your, your studies are not just based on lectures, 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 and then taking exams based on these lectures, so just ingesting the knowledge, but it's pretty much based on problem solutions. So the whole time you have more tutorials, it's really heavy on tutorials. You get more tutorials and in the tutorials, you have to look at certain problems and then based on those problems you go do your findings do some st self-study and then come back with your findings and report so it's a learning system whereby you're really triggered to use the knowledge you're getting 
to solve practical problems. Understand what you are studying and understand the knowledge you are getting and also be able to practically implement that knowledge where necessary. That's a, that's a system which is very unique to at least these two programs in the medical faculties in the Netherlands. I know other faculties have the, the normal way of just getting lectures and then taking exams. But Maastricht University and Groningen, as far as I know, are very particular in that they have this problem-based system of learning, which I particularly, for one, love because it just triggers you to actually think about how you can use the knowledge you're getting to practically solve real-world problems and not just get knowledge and not know what you're going to do with the knowledge. So that's a similarity as well between um, Maastricht University and Groningen University. So those were the main similarities between the two universities. Now let's go to the differences. The first thing with the differences is the location. Maastricht University is located in the southernmost part of the country in a city called Maastricht um, and Groningen University is located in the northernmost part of the country which is a city called Groningen. And both of them are quite close to the border so Maastricht is close to the German and the Belgian border and Groningen is close to the German border. So that really makes it also an ideal location for a lot of things. I personally, when I was trying to apply or figure out which one I was gonna to apply to, location was a big thing for me because I wanted to be able to move around, I wanted to be able to visit people, I wanted to be able to explore and see different places. Groningen for me just felt like up there in the middle of nowhere. It is close to Germany, close to Denmark, depending on your perspective, but I just felt Maastricht being close to Belgium and Germany and also like good connections to the rest of the Netherlands. I found that a little more attractive. I visited Cloningen, I visited Maastricht as a city to see what the city feels like before I applied. And I just felt better with Maastricht University. I remember the first time I came to Maastricht University years ago, walking through the university, I just felt like, oh, this feels nice. The faculty felt a little more modern. The city felt a little more welcoming. The mixture of nature, city, hills and stuff like that, which you don't see anywhere else in the Netherlands, that just felt for me like a unique studying environment, coupled with a very heavily international atmosphere. Groningen also has an international atmosphere, but I think Maastricht University is one of the most international universities in the Netherlands, if not the most international university in the Netherlands. So that creates a different vibe as well and a different sphere, which I just I just fell in love with the first time I visited the city. So the location is one thing to pay into it, like pay attention to. If you're someone who wants to be able to travel a lot, Maastricht is quite well connected. If you're someone who really doesn't care about traveling like that, Groningen might be a better option because it's also just up there in the middle of nowhere. Groningen as a city has less, it's a big student city, but in terms of liveliness and a lot of stuff happening in the city center, from what I hear from people, there's not that much. Um, if you're in a fraternity, if you're a student with a sorority and stuff like that, then there is a lot to experience. But outside that, the, 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 the feedback I'm getting from people is not that enthusiastic. Maastricht University, on the other hand, I think it's a great city. And if there's nothing happening there, you can easily go to Aachen in Germany or go to Cologne in Germany or go to Brussels in Belgium with really good train connections. That's something to keep in mind. So the location is definitely one thing. And for me, that was one of the deciding factors, the location. Second difference, the entrance exams. And that's one thing which for me as someone who has spent a couple of years between high school and applying for medical school here, I spent a couple of years not actually actively gaining knowledge because I, was, I took gap years unintentionally because I had to take time to apply and prepare for the application. Maastricht University for me was really the perfect fit because the selection in Maastricht University is not based on knowledge. It's not like you are actually solving like biology, chemistry, physics, math problems. It's more of who are you holistically as a person. Who are you as a doctor? What kind of doctor do you want to be? What are your morals? What are your values? How would you perform in certain situations? With a little bit of logic here and there. Now, from the time I applied to now, there has been some changes where now you have to write an essay and that we didn't have to do back then, but still the essay tests something similar. Groningen, on the other hand, from what I understand, you get an assignment and you have to do it um, study, 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 and then come eventually and you're tested on what the study material was. On the one hand, that is great because that gives you an idea of what you need to prepare for the selection. Maastricht University, on the other hand, you have no idea of what you're actually going to meet on the selection day. So then if you're someone who loves certainty and wants to know what you're up against, Groningen might be a better fit for you since they give you the material which you have to prepare for the selection day. Maastricht, on the other hand, tells you drink water, sleep, and come rested on the selection day. So that's a different kind of vibe. I personally... Maastricht University was better for me because, you know, I hadn't been gaining knowledge for a long time. So I was afraid of actually being tested on knowledge questions. 
But if you're someone who just left high school and you've been in touch with the knowledge, then Groningen is also good for you because then you're just being tested on something which you have been studying the past years anyways. So it depends on really what stage you are and what works best for you. So the entrance exam in Maastricht University is more of a holistic exam where they look at who you are as a person, what you want to be as a doctor. And Groningen, on the other hand, looks at knowledge-based. So it's a knowledge-based entrance exam. The third difference is the program content. And of course, with this one, I'm really biased because I don't know that much about the problem, the, the program content of Groningen. I just know a lot about the program content of Maastricht University. And even with that, the program, the curriculum has changed for the English track of medicine in Maastricht University, but has not been changed for the Dutch track. So there's still a lot of changes happening as well. In Groningen, I know they are also scaling down the number of international programs. Previously, when I was applying, they had two international tracks because they have four tracks in medicine in Groningen, two international and two Dutch. And now they've scaled it down to three international and one Dutch. Maastricht, on the other hand, still has their same program with the same quarter, more or less, and a different curriculum for the international track in medicine, which is now called Bachelors in Medicine, BAMED. And very interestingly, I think Maastricht has a very unique program where they no longer look at just numbers and grades and comparing you to other people, but they look at you as a person and how you are growing in your in your journey to becoming a medical doctor. For example, very funnily, Maastricht University, the Bachelors in Medicine now, they have no exams. We all as medical students in the Netherlands take a progress test every like four times a year. So that is an exam which they still take, but that's an exam you don't need to prepare for. But in terms of like course exams where you have a course and then you're tested in another course like we had in first year, second year, third year, the new curriculum of medicine in English in Maastricht University has no exams. So if you're someone who really does not want exams anymore, Maastricht might just be the place for you because you have a lot of projects and projects and projects but no exams. Whereas I think in Groningen, even though they've scaled down the English program, they still have exams. So if exams is your is your is your thing and or exams is really not your thing, then magic might just be a better option for you since they have no exams. You still have a lot of projects though which you need to work and put in effort. But I think that's just something which is very unique to Mashik where they have a, a curriculum, a new curriculum which really looks at you as a person and how you're growing over the years as opposed to just making you take exams and then ranking you based on how you fit with your other classmates. I personally think it's a great system. They're still trying to figure out a lot of the ins and outs of it. So it feels like it's not necessarily a very re refined system. But I think ultimately in the long run, that is a better approach to helping people actually just become the best versions of themselves and show up as the best doctors they can be and not necessarily always compare themselves with the rest. So that's the difference in the program content as far as I know. Maastricht has a new program uh, structure, a new curriculum which looks at you as a person how you're growing Groningen still has what you would expect from a medical program which is exams tests and all that kind of stuff another thing which is quite i think in both programs unique as well is the the emphasis they lay on skills and being able to communicate with patients from the beginning i think in magic university there's a little more than in Groningen from the experiences i've heard in magic we're really heavy on the patient contact from year one, we start getting simulated patient consultations. You start learning how to talk to patients. These consultations you have with simulated patients are analyzed by your other classmates, filmed. You really get a lot of feedback on how you can improve your communication with patients. Whereas in Groningen, I know that's supposed to be the case, but from what I hear from other people, it's not the most effective system. And sometimes these things don't actually happen the way they're supposed to be happening. Of course, in magic, it doesn't happen once in a while as well, or the patient is not what you'd expect it, or the, the, the simulated patient is someone else because last minute changes had to be made. But all in all, I think it's a really great way. And if you compare Maastricht University students to students for, for example, Rotterdam University, we are really heavy on the patients. So we can have conversations with any patients, we can diagnose any patients, we can really build a rapport with patients. Whereas in other universities, from what I hear, talk to us of in Belgium, it's heavy on the knowledge. So we may not be the best at anatomy, we may not be the best at getting all the scientific knowledge, but we are great at dealing with patients. And ultimately, I love that because I'm all about people. So if Magic University really heavily invests on that, I would not trade that for any other university because they are better in getting you the knowledge. Ultimately, I think you get the knowledge from actually being in the field, being in the hospital, working and dealing with patients. So the knowledge is gonna come eventually but these patient skills, these soft skills, these things which teach you how to interact with other people, I think that goes a long way. Because ultimately, you see in the hospital, I'm seeing that now as well, a lot of the patients who present themselves in the hospital do not necessarily have something physically wrong. They don't have something pathological in them. 
it's all here. And if you cannot, if you don't have the skills and the, the, the knowledge and the know-how to be able to get that part and filter that part and tackle that part and actually talk to the patient, the human in front of you, then you might find yourself treating a lot of things which don't need to be treated. So I think the, the emphasis on actually just patient contact in Maastricht University is something I love and I will not trade that for anything else. Whereas in other universities, they have that less. They do try to implement that in Groningen, but of course, it's, it's a lot less from what I hear. And that brings me to the fourth point, which is the overall satisfaction. And this one, I'm not gonna lie, I think, of course, it's Dutch people, it's, it's, it's the Netherlands. In this country, people complain about everything. So even if something feels to one person like it's perfect, another person is always gonna have something to complain about. So that said, keeping that in mind, I have heard a lot of negative voices. Like I did not hear that many people say too many positive things about Groningen. Everyone I told that I had people who I was coaching, who are thinking about applying to Groningen told me tell them not to apply to Groningen because the program seems to be not that well organized the program seems to have a lot of things which they promise in the beginning but don't eventually deliver on you have that in Maastricht too by the way the promise the most international experience the most international learning environment of medicine learning how international medicine works but it doesn't really eventually in reality happen like that so both universities promise things which they don't necessarily deliver on but I think from what I hear the dissatisfaction I hear with Groningen is a lot more than the dissatisfaction I hear with my classmates from Maastricht. We in Maastricht are all aware of the fact that we are not the smartest with regards to anatomy, for example, we are not the smartest with regards to knowledge acquisition, but when it comes to patient interactions, we know that's where our strong suit is. So we acknowledge our shortcomings and we are aware of where we fall short, so we know where to adequately put in more effort when necessary. But I've not heard that many people complain about the program in Maastricht as much as I've heard complain about the program in Groningen. Of course, it's a small sample size of people I know in Groningen. So that also might influence the, the, the quality of the information I'm getting. From the people I've spoken to, there has not been a very enthusiastic response with regards to the program in Groningen. Whereas those I'm exposed to in Maastricht, which is of course a lot more people, they have been a higher satisfaction rate with regards to just feeling good about the program and their choice to do that program. So summarily, both programs are great and I think you cannot go wrong with any program. But however, I think my advice would definitely be Maastricht. Not because I study in Maastricht. I know it, it's easy to like look at that. Okay, you study in Maastricht. Of course, you're going to recommend Maastricht University. But I just think the quality of the education, the vision of the university, the vision of the program, what the program looks like and what it feels like it's going to look like in the future feels more promising in Maastricht. When I look at Groningen and the curriculum now, they are trying to scale down the English programs. And if you're aware of what is happening in the Netherlands, the Netherlands is trying to push for more universities to scale down their English programs. And that feels like something which Groningen is doing, moving from two English tracks to one English track. And eventually I heard they're also trying to get rid of that one English track. So Groningen might just fully become a Dutch medical university. Whereas Maastricht is trying to really fight back these changes and keep their international and most fair international vision and identity. So I think just looking at the program and the vision of the program and the university, Maastricht feels like a better fit. Looking at the new curriculum of Maastricht University where they're just trying to focus on the individual and their growth and their process and actually making them become the best doctors they can be, I think that's a vision that aligns with me as a person and something that I would really fall back with. Talkless of the location of the, the, the university, the city, how connected it is, how you can easily get to Luxembourg in two hours, get to Germany, get to Belgium, anywhere you want to get to, get to the other part of the Netherlands, Amsterdam in three hours, direct train, location-wise, university-wise, program, content-wise, all these things. I think Maastricht University is a better bet. If I was to go back in time, I think I would choose Maastricht University over and over again, knowing what I know now. And I think I mostly advise a lot of people whom I know to apply to Maastricht University because it just it feels feels for me like a better choice. But of course, that's not for everyone. So you really have to think about it. Use the knowledge I've shared in this video. Those who study in these universities, please comment down below if there's something which I shared in this video which was not necessarily correct or you don't agree with or you have a different experience. Please feel free to let me know in the comment section that can help me gain more understanding and help other people who are also trying to gain a better idea of what these programs look like understand it better. So please share down below if you're studying in Groningen or if you had a different experience studying there, what your experience was like, that could help potentially a lot of people. But if you're trying to really figure out which of this program works best for you and where to apply, if you're having difficulties applying, I'm a coach, I help students with this kind of things, with the application process, getting a better idea of what is expected of you and trying to just prepare you as much as possible for the selection. If you need help with this alpha coaching service, reach out to me. My information is down in the description below. Reach out on Instagram, email, whatever works best for you. 
I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. But if you need help with that, definitely know the help is available. You just have to reach out. Hope this video was helpful to you out there. Hope it helps you make a better decision. I really think ultimately you cannot go wrong in any university. They are both great options. I just wanted to share this video so you have a better idea of what the programs look like and what you could potentially be getting yourself into when you apply for any one of these programs because you can only apply for one, right? So I hope this video was helpful to someone. Let me know in the description below in the comment section if you found this video useful. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comment section as well and I'll do my best to answer them. All the best with the application process. Go break a leg. And until next time, stay blessed and peace.